Alright guys, what's up? The big 1-0 now. We're into double digits. So last episode, we hit up Mars. And we managed to find ourselves a reinforced crate. And we got ourselves this lovely 30 minute credit booster. And as I said, I'm doing this episode straight after the last one. Just so we can make the most use of it. Um, so we got to build our arc wing. But obviously I only just started building it. So we're going to have to wait for that I'm afraid. That's going to be next episode that we start. Well, next episode we'll start building the main arc wing. Then we've got to wait for that to build. So that's going to be a bit of a bummer. But for now, we're just going to use this credit booster to the best of our advantage. We're going to do a Tharsis, I think. Maybe we'll do Spear, actually. Yeah, we'll do Spear. We'll get into the main the main body here. Um, so we'll just complete this one defense mission. And then we'll get going. I think we might even be able to... Um, position has been compromised. Yeah, we'll see if we can We'll see if we can uh do a Maru's um thingy, what's it called? I'm forgetting it again, my god. I forgot it last episode as well. Ayatin sculpture uh, mission. Blimey. My brain's gone crazy. What are you doing? You're just running into a rock, you idiot. I really wish that they would, um, in defense missions, maybe show you, like, how many enemies are left in each wave. I think that'll be a nice addition. Oh, is that a gold mod? I've got a gold mod there, guys. Let's see what we got. Ah, we got the full streamline. That's really good. Okay. So, we can now get rid of the flawed streamline we had on. And if we get, if we are able to do Maru's uh, item mission, then we might be able to max rank that, which will be really good. Uh, and we can start spamming our first ability a bit more to do damage. It would also be good to get a max continuity as well. Then we could have our shield down for a bit longer. We also just need to rank up. So we can fit all these mods on. We have been playing for over an hour. Lovely. Okay. There we go. So, getting some mods now. That's where we've been all this time. They're all on Mars. Probably get a uh, relic for doing this as well. I can't remember which ones you get on this. I think it's lists you get. Basically a 100% chance each time, so... Hold up. What is up with this rock? They just love running into it. Yes. 
So it's probably going to be a Hayika Master at some point in this level. Come on. So we'll leave there. Oh, and we got the magazine warp. So we got three new mods Very there. Tenno. You held them all back. Time to get full heated them. charge now. That's nice. Right. So let's now see. I want to be able to see whether or not we can do this. Because if we can, then it will be absolutely glorious. So that's, uh, we can't fast travel. That's a bummer. Wasting time on my credit booster. Whoa, that was some heavy lag. Good God. There's quite a few tenor here selling stuff. You've come to the right place. Item sure treasure. No I'm your old I'm looking for you. item treasure. I'm ready. Okay. Let's we can actually this. do it. That's cool. Hopefully we'll be able to do this with uh relative ease. Okay, the item treasure's marked on your map. Time to go to work. Alright, it's not a derelict one. And these guys are level 15, which is slightly higher than we're used to dealing with, but it shouldn't be anything too difficult. Let's uh, blow that up and get everything. Whoa. Okay. I'll pop some crates here. Across an Oregon codex that said this tower was known for its beautiful Iatan treasures. Unfortunately for you, it was also known. We definitely have enough stars to fill a whole one if we do manage to get it. So uh, that'll get us some a nice bit of endo. Well, this should be fun. Right. Maybe you should stretch first. You know, limber up. Reach the end before time runs out. Okay, let's go. Zoink. Easy. My, oh my. I think you found it. Ha! You got it. Now bring it home. We can probably get some more mods from here. Sundering Strike. Okay, getting more golds. Convulsion. Okay, nice. We're actually getting quite a few mods from this room. Whoa, let's not kill ourselves, however. Open. So that's really good that we got that uh, sculpture there. That's going to give us a nice little early game endo boost. And obviously we're going to come back to do that each week in this playthrough. So we want to be getting as much endo as possible so we can get our mods up to up to scratch. Oh dear. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Let's keep moving. Get some more mods in here potentially. So look at all of these guys. What? All right, good. And we got twenty-five thousand off of that with that double cred boost. And nice. Okay. So that was really good actually. And we got our air sculpture. Not the best one. In fact, one of the worst. In fact, the worst. 
but still a lot of endo when we fill this in. I wonder if we can fill it in here. I think we can. So let's fill this guy up. Uh, why can I not autofill that? Still 1,425, that's nice. So we'll go off and sell that now. Good lord, why does it get so laggy around here? Hi. I want to sell. No, I don't want to sell my wares. That's not what I want to do. I want to extract endo. Lovely. Alright, let's get out of here. So, yeah, we'll be doing that each week, guys, because that's a really nice way to get early game endo. Um, let's see what we can do with that endo now. So, we want to get our streamline maxed out. I'm not sure if we can have enough credits for this, mind you. 44,000. Is that going to be worth it, do we reckon? Yeah, I think in the long run. That's sort of a mod that we're going to be using on pretty much every build. Depending on what frame, so let's move you over for now. We'll put the streamline on here. Is there anything else that we missed out on a bit here? Not really. Um, we might be able to upgrade our vitality a bit more now, perhaps. Uh, but like I said, we're going to run out of credits, so we've got to be careful. Yeah, we're going to need more credits for that. Way more to get that maxed out. Right. How much time have we got left for the episode? 17 minutes left. Okay, we're about halfway there. Let's continue. Let's do Arvel here. It's a spy, so... Potentially get our uh, XP up a bit more. Your mission is to break into enemy data vaults and steal any intelligence files you find. What am I doing? Okay. Let's not fail this time. Like we have every other time. Ouch. So, if you guys remember, I mentioned at the start of this episode, but last episode we found that nice reinforced crate, which I basically missed and shot just by fluke. Um, those crates really are very rare. Um, I really want to stress that because the chances of finding one that early on in the game are unbelievably slim. So if you're one like thinking of maybe just walking around the map like every single time looking for these reinforced crates, please don't. Uh, it's not worth your time. Um, you're much better off just getting missions done and getting stuff out of the way. And like you saw, like you accidentally stumble upon them every now and then. They're not worth looking for. There is a, a massively slim chance of them spawning in a game. So don't think that they are a viable way of, of farming resources or anything because they really are. That was very lucky that we got that last episode. And in fact, that Mantis blueprint, since uh, the ship's only cosmetic and right now it's not what we want to be worrying about, we might be able to sell that for a tiny bit of platinum maybe. Alright, let's not get caught out by the sensor bot here, if possible. There he is, he's looking the other way. Bingo. Just got it in time, how about that? Continue on to B now. Trigger the alarms 
destroying the data. Uh, okay, this one's a bit trickier. Is there a laser here? I can't tell. There's a laser there. So sometimes if you get lucky, there's a nice little drop down here. We got lucky. Good, good. Data extracted. They won't Excellent. That one would have been tricky if that sp specific tile set wasn't there. Since we don't have a stealth frame, might have struggled. To get it without the alarms going off, that is. Uh, let's see. Okay, nice easy one. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Drop down. Oh, I missed it. Excellent work. Bob's your uncle. Extraction with no alarms. We have everything we came for. Get to extraction. All right. So if we happen to get any credit caches from this mission, uh, we have that double credit booster, so they will be doubled, which is going to be nice. More gallium? Nice. Okay, so we need one more gallium now. We'll just start making the uh, the fragger. I think it was. Or the heat sword, I can't remember which one. Let's have another look around quickly. Make sure that there isn't any that we've missed. Still can't believe we found that reinforced crate, to be honest. That's really lucky. Okay. Lovely. Oh, wow. Okay, so we managed to get a our systems. I think this should also, uh, D should also introduce something that sort of rewards players for achievements. Maybe like a small credit bonus or something. I don't know. Okay, we'll do the sabotage now. We'll look for the we'll look for the uh, the caches as well. Might as well. Okay, you're looking for the mainframe. It's critical that you deliver the payload to that location. More morphix. Good, good. Do we not get caches in this? I guess not. That's kind of sad. Thought we might be able to. Yeah. Oh, oh Troy. We'll keep moving. We'll just get this one done then. I thought we were going to be able to get some caches on this and maybe get some credit caches, but obviously not. Your target is this location's computer system. Let's not get stuck, shall we? We need to destroy the reactor. The reactor will have tight security. Watch out for enemy patrols. I want to try and find this last bit of gallium. We're going to take ages to die, so... Plenty of morphics, guys, gotta be said. Let's 
the other resource that we need. Not a rush to get it, mind you. We're still... Our bow's going to be the last thing we sort of get to level 30 here, so... Definitely not a rush to get the gallium, but it would be nice to have it ready at least. Ah, Eximus though. Try and get Oberon. Maybe not. the whole way around for no reason. Oh, lost the... Now get out of here. Good stuff. All right. Whoa. Sure, we didn't get that gallium. What's going on over here? No gallium. Oh well. Oh, down here. Maybe. No. Five morphic, holy. Six minutes left of the episode, so. Yeah. Let's see. What we gotta do here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. We got a capture here, that's nice. That goes over to Sirtis in a sec when we need it. We've got to get to Phobos before we can get to Ceres, so... Oh, but that's going to require us to scan three Cephalon fragments. So I'll tell you what, why don't we, while we're here, put on our scanners. Uh, and then we'll go... Where do we want to go? We've got five minutes left, but we want to be going this way, so I think I'm going to do just one of these excavations here. And then, yeah, we'll call the episode there. Since we uh, managed to uh, make the most, I'd say, of our credit booster. We probably could have done some more credit centered missions, but to be honest, I'm not too fussed about it. So, as long as we made the most of actually having that credit booster by playing whilst we had it, then that's fine with me. I'm okay with that. 
not too fast about uh, focusing on maybe just doing spy missions for the whole 30 minutes. That would be very tedious. So, uh, yeah. Let's get this on the go. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. <clears throat> My god. So we could also, um, while we're waiting for our arc wing to be made, we could also maybe do the Howl of the Kubra quest. But uh, the reason I don't really want to do that right now is because I want to hold off until, firstly, I've sort of maxed my tax on out so I can then just move straight on to another, another pet. Um, and also, they require quite a lot of um, upkeep. Two brows. Obviously, you need um, to buy DNA stabilizers and stuff like that to keep them healthy, and you need to keep reviving them. All that jazz. So, really, it's not that much of a priority right now that we get it, uh, especially not until we've completed ranking up our tax on here since it's only, where is it, rank 9 right now. Oh, I've got a mod. Trash. Lovely, and we got ourselves a credit cash. So let's get out before... Uh, our credit booster ends. A bit of time, mind you, so we can probably have a quick scoop round. Momentum going all the way to the end here, guys. Where am I going? Guess I'm looking in here. Oh, great! Some more uh, zealots or whatever they're called. Hey, come on, have another one! Oh. <laughs> For those of you who might not have caught last episode, that was where we found the reinforced crate. Would have been quite funny if there was another one in exactly the same spot, but... Never lucky. He says. Even though we actually got a reinforced crate. But let's get out of here before we get killed by the zealots. So another 6,000 credits there, so that's pretty decent actually. But yeah, let's get back to the ship, see where we stand, and then I think we're in the episode, guys. Hey, you. Ooh, yeah, right, just turned new day. Friend, you like deals? Let's get some detonite ampule. So, yeah. I think for now, that's probably going to do us. Whoa, how about that? That's a good way to end the episode. Let's see. We can start making that. It's going to take an hour. So that'll be for next episode, guys. We're not going to rush anything here. Um, but yeah. So we'll have that in an hour. Uh, I'll probably be able... Oh, I'll we'll have these ready, but I won't be using them at all, really, for a while. So just something to think about. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.